Hey guys, it's that David and Guy coming out with another Robin Hood portfolio update. Happy Monday. Hopefully everybody's having a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. So we're going to go over the overall portfolio performance, the buying power, the individual stocks, and the stocks that are on my watch list as well. So jumping right in, today we are down about $66. Uh, for today, and then uh, we are up six hundred and eighty dollars, up to about two point oh nine percent for the past week. For the month, we are up two hundred sixty one dollars and forty three cents, up point eight percent for the past month. Then the three month mark, we are up three thousand three hundred seventy dollars and eighty six cents, up eleven point three four percent for the past three months. We're up $7,848.39, up 31.1% in the past year. So a little bit over 30% for the past year, which is great. Then uh, we are up $7,414.88, up 28.89% since April 13th of 2018. So not doing too bad, as you guys can see. This is definitely the uh, when the pandemic hit. It affected a lot of people, a lot of people's portfolios, the entire market went down, as you guys can see, down like 11.5%. And then again, this is the oil issue that we had, but uh, we're at all-time highs now, so that's phenomenal for the portfolio anyway. Buying power of 12.77 on Friday, I get paid uh, for my job, but I also get paid by Altria, and then I believe over the weekend I also get paid by... Uh, AT&T as well, so that'll be great. So I'll have like a hundred and about two hundred and twenty dollars coming in uh, And then now we're gonna jump into the Individual holdings So first off we have Realty income my personal favorite real estate stock um, We have 35 shares of this dividend aristocrat 2400 and twenty-five dollars and one cents of market value. Average cost is fifty-five fifty-nine. Seven point three three percent of the portfolio is in realty income. Today we're down about four dollars, down point one six percent. Total we're up about four hundred and eighty dollars, up twenty-four point six three percent. I want to add a lot more realty income. Um, I love their tenant list. I love their dividend increase history. Um, and they increase every quarter, so every quarter I get a little bit of a bump up, which I think over time. Will amass a pretty big fortune for the money that's in the stock anyway. <laughs> then we've got Coca-Cola, my personal favorite holding in the entire portfolio and on the entire stock market. Love Coca-Cola, drink it every single day. We got 22 shares, so this is a smaller position, but that will be built up um, for the rest of this year. My goal is to get to 50 plus shares of Coca-Cola. We've got $1,183.16 of market value. Average cost is 51 47 3.58% of the portfolio is in Coca-Cola, down 15.07 today, down 1.26%. Total, we are up 50.94, up 4.5% on Coca-Cola. Then we got Allstate stock. This is my uh, insurance company for this set of months, and I love um, car insurance. It's, it's uh, a legal necessity. Um, everybody that drives on the road needs car insurance, so... Oh, it was between this, Progressive, and then I found Mercury Insurance, but I decided not to go with Progressive because the dividend was not good enough for my taste. Um, but for today, we are at, we are at six shares of Allstate, seven hundred fifty-three dollars and forty-eight cents of market value. Average cost is one hundred five eighty-eight. Two point two eight percent of the portfolio is in Allstate. Today we're up three dollars and eighteen cents, up about half a percent. Total work one eighteen eighteen, up eighteen point six percent. A lot of eighteens. <laughs> then we got all three a group. One hundred fifty two shares of this dividend king, seven thousand one hundred seventy six dollars and ninety eight cents. Average cost is fifty two seventeen. Twenty one point seven percent of the portfolio is in all three a group. Today we are up. Sorry, we're down twenty five twenty six sixty. Down 3.7%. Total, we are down $752.87. Down 9.5%. Total, we are up. We are getting a dividend of $130.72 on April 30th. So in four days, so on Thursday, we should be getting paid. 
Um, usually I bump it back a day because it takes them a day to get the processing through. So we should be allocating that capital on Friday. Then we've got AT&T, 171 shares of this aristocrat, $5,304.13. Average cost is $29.70, 16.04% of the portfolio is an AT&T, down 63.27 today, down 1.18%. Total, we are up 225.02, up 4.43%. And we have a dividend coming in on the 3rd of 85.80, which is not accurate. They're paying us for 165 shares when we have 171. So the dividend will be more the next time we get paid, closer to $90 a share. I'm sorry, $90 for a total payout, which is phenomenal. I always want it to go up. Then we've got Procter & Gamble. This is one of my favorite consumer staple stocks. We've got one share that will be going up. 131.37 for market value. Average cost is 136.98. 0.4% of the portfolios in Procter and Gamble. Today we are down 257, down 1.92%. Total we're down five dollars and sixty-one cents, down 4.1%, and a dividend coming in of 87 cents from Procter and Gamble. Then we got Avvi, my pharmaceutical play for the portfolio. 60 shares, $6,698.40 of market value. Average cost is $72.22. 20.25% of the portfolio is in Avvi. That was all the way up at 27% at one point, but we have bought other securities but have not um, lowered our position in Avvi. I will not sell shares of Avvi. I do want to buy more, but I want to buy more closer to my average cost. As you guys see, it's up $30 a share. And I'm not okay with buying shares that inflated. So we're up 1472 today, up 2.2%. Total, we're up $2,363.24, up 54.54%, and a dividend coming in on May 14th of $78. So gotta love that, guys. We're up big with appreciation, plus, we're up huge with dividends as well. When I originally bought this stock, I was only getting paid like a dollar oh seven i believe then it went up to a dollar 18 now it's up to a dollar 30 per share so i'm just gonna sit on these shares and hold them and watch the dividends keep growing and keep, watch the money keep pouring in at an increased rate it's wonderful then we got Aflac stock my personal favorite insurance company we have 103 shares of this aristocrat five thousand five hundred twenty four dollars and ninety two cents of market value average cost is 49.12 we have a portfolio percentage of 16.71% in AFLAC, which I'm fine with. Uh, today, we are up 27.81. Total, we're at 465.18, up about 9.2% on AFLAC stock. Then we've got Hershey, my consumer staples for this set of months. They have over 80 brands. They pretty much own the chocolate aisle. We have one share, 159.20 for market value. Average cost is 159.61. 0.48% of the portfolio is in Hershey. Today we are down 219, 1.36%. Total, we're down 37 cents, down 0.23%. Then we've got Enbridge. We've got 100 shares of this aristocrat. $3,720 of market value. Average cost is 36.28. 11.25% of the portfolio is an Enbridge. Today we're up $11, up 0.3%. Total work 92.25, up 2.54% on Enbridge. And guys, that rounds out the holdings in the portfolio. The money that will be allocated for this month, being um, Altria this this Friday will be added towards our watch list. So now we're gonna jump into the watch list. So Chubb pays the first set of months. I wanted a property casualty insurer and a car insurance stock in all states. So Chubb, I wanna buy, but I don't wanna buy at these inflated prices. I wanna buy it around, see it's at 167. So it's about $10 off its high. So I'd wanna buy it at around 130 um, if I could. So I still have a ways to go down with Chubb. We've got Alliant Energy. I've held this stock before. I was dumb when I sold it. Shouldn't have done that. So I want to buy about 10 shares. Uh, the total of the portfolio um, with 15 stocks will be about 6% in each. But I do want this. It is a toll booth stock, so people need to pay it in Iowa. They don't have a choice. Uh, also, Mid-American Energy is owned by Berkshire Hathaway. And so I'll kind of have an energy monopoly here in my home state when I own both of them. But yes, um, 
of line energy will be bought, but not this set of months because um, it already would have paid me. But for the price of $56, I know the 52 week high is 58, but I'm not super worried about it. It's a cheaper stock, so I'll buy it at pretty much any price. And we got Pfizer. So this is the other pharmaceutical I've been looking into um, and I want. So this is where the money will be going between Pfizer and the next stock on the watch list for this set of months. So I'm going to buy two shares of Pfizer and one share of the other insurance company. So Pfizer is at $38.69. 52 week highs at $43. So I do want to buy it. I wish I could buy it closer to $30. But... I could take it around 40 as well because Pfizer is a phenomenal company and a dividend aristocrat. So the uh, the goal is to buy two shares of Pfizer, so that'll be about $80. And um, the next company being Mercury Insurance I've owned as well. I was a dummy butt and sold, uh, what was it, 10 shares? 8 shares of it, yeah. I won't be selling it again. It is a California uh, company. They insure drivers in California, and I wanted another um, auto insurer. So I have I have uh, Aflac, and I'll have Mercury Insurance paying me this set of months. So this month, when I get paid by Altria, I will be buying two shares of Pfizer to add to the pharmaceuticals, and that is one that Warren Buffett does not own. So when I add Berkshire Hathaway, I won't be um, adding to my allocation. I will be having an original, um, an original pharmaceutical even though he did own um he owned it but he sold it so i'm happy to be a little bit more diversified when it comes to pharmaceuticals and a little bit more with insurance i wanted another insurance company another car insurance company and mercury insurance fit the bill so at 63.28 again it's not super expensive but if i get it closer to 50 dollars, i will i'm going to sit on it for a while but it is fairly valued as you guys can see the pe ratio is 9.45 so it's valued very very nicely currently so i do want to buy a share of that and get it re-added to the portfolio. So currently guys, the money will not be allocated to a Chubb or Alliant because those months have passed. Um, those have already paid, but I will be adding the dividends to Pfizer and Mercury Insurance. Two shares of Pfizer and one share of Mercury Insurance as long as I can afford it. Um, and then Friday I get paid, so I will be adding more allocated capital and that will be added uh, split between the portfolio and the companies that I've added so I might buy a couple of shares of Aflac to get to 105 shares that'll be $106 and then I'll probably just pour money into uh, Mercury Insurance and Pfizer I'll just split it down the middle so let's say I buy three shares of Pfizer or sorry two shares of Pfizer a share of Mercury Insurance and then two shares of Aflac which will be a hundred bucks uh, say I put 300 into the market then I have 150 to split between um, Pfizer and Mercury, so I'll buy another share of Mercury Insurance and then like two shares of Pfizer. So I'll have four shares of Pfizer, two shares of Mercury, and three more shares of um, Aflac, all paying me next month. So that's what I want to do is I want to buy the stocks that will pay me for the next month. So that's the goal anyways, guys. So I'll get paid Friday. I'll get paid by Ultra on Thursday. I'll get paid by my job on Friday. I'll transfer um, as much cash over to savings as I need to to get to the 3K mark. And then I will transfer money over and buy more securities. So we're closing the day above 33K, which is, which is phenomenal. Um, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button. And when you do, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any updates. I post um, my portfolio updates Monday through Friday. And I do try to sneak in a video, an extra one, um, as often as I can to get you guys more content. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Robinhood portfolio update. Take care, guys.